This is our fifth annual conference. Our first one was in uh, Ottawa five years ago in, in 2013. And the conference came out of, I think, a real desire around the country to not only for the movement to get together, but for some of the information, inspiration, tools and training that people need to, to end homelessness. When we wanted the conference to come to Winnipeg, we wanted it to be about Indigenous homelessness. It is time we talk about it. We live with the effects, the intergenerational effects of residential schools right now, and we see it in the homes and on the streets in Winnipeg. A country as wealthy and as blessed as Canada shouldn't be affected by chronic homelessness to the extent that we are affected. We don't have any conference of this size in the UK, or specifically on homelessness. We have a big housing conference, but not something specifically on homelessness. So it's amazing. And I love the opening part of the conference and the way that um, Indigenous cultures were really respected and were kind of top of the agenda. And that's huge learning for me. And a conference like the Canadian Alliance always brings together both academics and practitioners. So local folks get to hear about great examples of what's happening around the world. We've got people from New Zealand, we've got people from the US and Canada, and across the country here sharing ideas about what works to end homelessness. Anytime you bring almost a thousand people together, you're gonna get a real great range of ideas and thoughts. So it's a, it's a good opportunity to mix, mingle, and learn. It's inspiring to see so many people working on the same issues and at the same time it's kind of sad that we have to be working so much on such a huge issue of homelessness still. A lot of our young people are ending up homeless when they're aging out of care and that is just so unnecessary and really hurtful for them and so I think we really need to find solutions that support our young people too. If we don't do something about that and make sure that mothers are supported so that they can have homes for their children it's going to continue. I was very inspired by the sessions, just hearing firsthand what people go through and hearing uh, the grassroots of what's happening um, and hearing just firsthand what the people need, not what government thinks the people need. Um, that's how change is going to be made in the city and I think this is a great platform for, for getting that out there. The syringes themselves we're looking for. Uh, the drug bags, we take all these things off the street because with the rise... There's a tour that I really wanted to check out because uh, in Lethbridge we're actually uh, contemplating kind of emulating this um, bear clan and bringing it to Lethbridge. So I uh, really wanted to get on here so I can um, see what it's all about. Tonight at the CEO Sleepout, we're going to premiere five videos that young people did. And that these are videos that are each have a special perspective and a special point of view and a very real point of view. All the 600 CEOs and community leaders that participated over the last six years. We'd like to thank End Homelessness Winnipeg for taking the time to create this opportunity for us. Just saw five incredibly powerful videos that we were very proud to sponsor. Ours was the easy part. The amount of work that went into these videos, these pieces of work, is just incredible. It's been a great conference. I, I've been to this conference since it started a number of years ago and it's always a great time. You meet interesting people, you hear about good programs, and there's always something you can bring back. It's a very important conference to have to bring awareness to the general public and for us to be able to identify what challenges and what steps and directions we should be taking to end homelessness. We wanted people to walk away from here with tools on how to end homelessness, with knowledge about how to do it, with wisdom from the elders, for people who have lived this, and people who have, have cultural knowledge, indigenous knowledge, and we want to know that people are, con are, are connected to each other, so that if I have a question, you have an answer, and that we can work together. I hope that they really read the indigenous homelessness definition and really try to understand these root causes of the dysfunction today that our people are going through, and. Uh, they really try to change policies and procedures to accommodate this intergenerational trauma and these inherited memories and these recycle of, of the same kind of lifestyles over and over. The more we can message the fact that if we put our collective energies in and we advocate strongly, this is an issue that can be addressed and ultimately ended. This is how we're going to bring all of our people home. And our future conferences won't be about homelessness. 
but it'll be about nation building, empowerment conferences. That's what these conferences will be about. I've learned that there are so many powerful, amazing people who are working all over the place to do good work, and that a lot of the time we're working in isolation. And the more that we can meet each other and learn from each other and listen to each other and share what we've learned, then the stronger we all are. And that's why I love that we're all here together for this conference.